A 15-year-old boy, you think you know a fair bit about the world, and uh, and uh, I, I suppose thinking back to when I was that age, if someone um, had struck a chord with me and uh, found something that I was really passionate about, and I was passionate about sport, and they had said to me, you know, like if you want to be a great sportsman, uh, these are some of the things that uh, I know work for uh, people who have made it in this sport. Then I think I really would have been really interested in that. And, and I went to cricket camps and uh, all kinds of camps as I was growing up, basketball and things like that. And I always did them because I wanted to be, uh, I wanted to be better at my chosen field. Uh, and so I was always really eager uh, as a young person to to learn from these people because I, I did want to impress all, all, what people people who I felt were in a position of authority. Uh, and so I think that as a person on one of these camps, that would have been the mentality uh, that I would have uh, approached with that. And, and I suppose it, it happens because these people are choosing to go on these camps rather than being forced to go. And, and that is sort of the mindset, I think, that they go into it, uh, having a bit more of an open mind about what they want to get out of it. That's great. Perhaps time for one or two more questions for the audience. Yes, sir. Um, I just wonder if you have any quotes or mantras that you sort of live by for your own personal development. Great question as well. So just asking if Joe's got any personal quotes or mantras that he goes by for his own per personal and professional development. Um, I, I don't really. Um, I always love listening to other people talk about it. You know, I think, oh gee, I wish I knew one like that and I wish I was that smart to remember it. But I don't really have any that I follow uh, myself. Um, I, 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 yeah, I, I couldn't think of anything that um, that I read all the time. I think, oh, you know, that really strikes a chord with me. This could be a time we could make something <laughs> out there. <laughs> Any final question from the audience there? Which is uh, yes, lucky last. I believe that sports a bit of a micro 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 Another great question. Very good looking and intelligent audience, obviously. He said, I believe sport is a, a microism of life, so just asking Joe his one bit of advice on his career, but obviously saying that that doesn't just apply to support, it, it applies in whatever field you, you put your chosen profession as. Yeah, I think um, for me, I'm very fortunate that uh, I'm doing what I wanted to do when I was a little boy, and so uh, in, in, in some capacity, I'm fulfilling a dream that I had when I was a little kid. Uh, and therefore, what I do makes me really happy. Uh, and that, I think, is the closest thing you can do to fulfil uh, your desire about what you want to achieve in life, is to, to find something that makes you really happy and, and follow that path. Um, for me, I, I'm really fortunate that it, it's pretty simple. Um, for other people, it, it, it's probably a, a complicated question and something that perhaps isn't discovered until you're uh, a much older person, but uh, I suppose because sport and AFL for me was so pure and uh, it was something that I was so saturated with at such a young age, that it, it provided me with such fulfilment uh, even though I was still relatively young. Uh, but that, that for me is, is the basis of why I'm doing what I'm doing because I, I love what I do. Well, I'll get one more just because you're waiting for me nicely. I'm just trying to understand the question. I think the young lady's asking around, Joe's obviously spoke a lot about he's had a great chance to get into sport, but maybe you might be able to speak around the AFL and, and how they're looking to involve people that don't necessarily have such an easy pathway going to playing sports. Yeah, I think that um, especially uh, for, for football is that um, football doesn't discriminate where you, your background and, and where you've come from. 
Now, I've had one path uh, uh, that, uh, that I had, but I was for very fortunate that that was the upbringing that I had. But uh, in, in within my football club, there are guys who have come from rural parts of Australia, uh, from totally different socio-economic backgrounds, um, that have all been able to make it because that football is available to, and the sport of AFL football is available to every person within the country. Uh, and that is because of the talent of identification at a young uh, age, because of Oski, uh, because of the TAC groups in that area. Great answer. Folks, thanks for your questions. Why don't you put your hands together and, and yeah, why don't you put your hands together and go ahead. So thanks, thanks a lot for your time. This is some, some great insights. And perhaps picking up a little on that last question, the AFL is one sport, but there, there's lots of sports out there. And I think Joe's last answer was a really uh, highlight a really great point of what Captain's Camp's all about. That sport brings people together from different ethnic backgrounds, different socio-economic backgrounds, and, and communities in uh, rural communities down to metro communities here. Lots of people are brought together playing different sports, so it's a great opportunity to develop the leaders in that sport to be leaders within that community.